hello everyone welcome to my channel to my current subscribers welcome back to my channel and if you are new here i have to say welcome and please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more amazing tutorials so we'll be doing some lovely text effects in photoshop today so the first effect is called swirl effect so we pick up our text tool and we just type in any simple word like sweet and then we we'll just duplicate it by clicking command J and we we'll just drag it down command J again drag it down Command J again and drag it down just to make sure everything looks good. Then we click on all the text copy. So the first one is selected. Go back to the first one and hold your shift and you're going to select everything. Right click and then you can just convert to smart object so everything is going to be one layer so you can move it all together all right so we'll double click to bring out the layer style tab then we'll go to stroke we'll add the stroke effect to it we'll change the stroke color to any color you like i'll choose the red then i'll change the size to about six put the opacity 100 percent then i'll click on the blending options here and put the fill opacity down to zero so we're only going to see the red lines then i'll click ok then the next thing is go to filter go to distort and you click on swirl then you'll be able to choose the angle you want so we'll just use 50 and we we'll click ok and there it is it's perfectly looking sweet then you can go ahead and add any other effect you like to it maybe you want to add gradients to it to make it look more lovely This looks good. So for this overlap effect, we're going to be typing in the word letter by letter. So the word we're going to use for this example is cream. C R E A M. So first we use our ruler, click on command R to bring out your ruler and so to give us like a guideline of where our text would be like so. Then pick up our text tool and just start with C which is the first letter of cream change the color to white just drag it down and we adjust the ruler good then duplicate the C with command J and double click to change it to R do the same for R duplicate R change it to E do the same for E duplicate E double click change it to A do the same for A duplicate A command J double click change it to M so now that we have our cream spelled out we'll go ahead and 
arrange two letters. It doesn't matter that they are overlapping because they will still overlap at the end. So we'll go ahead and add a layer mask to our first letter, which is C. We'll pick up our gradient tool, make sure the reverse is selected, then just click from the beginning and click it onto the next letter. It's going to create like a shadow on the first letter so go ahead and move the r onto the c like so do the same for the r create a layer mask pick up a gradient tool and drag it onto the next letter which is e then move the e onto the r like so The same for the E, create layer mask, pick up a gradient tool, create a gradient on each layer, put the A on the E, do the same for A, create layer mask, pick up a gradient tool and drag it to the end and place the M on the A like so then we all just shift with the first last layer click and hold your shift and click on c right click and convert everything to smart object so everything is now one then you can take away your ruler then you can add other effects that you like you can even make duplicates of this one make additional effects so you can Further edit it to make it look good. So we'll just add some colors to this ones. So I'll just add the yellow color to the first one. To the second one, I'll add another color. Let's make this red. And to the last one, I'll just add another color. Make this one blue. And that's it. We've been able to create this lovely overlap text effect. Then we'll be doing another text effect next. So the next text effect is going to be the liquify text effect, which is very simple. Go ahead and pick up our text tool and we'll just type in liquify this time. Then we'll duplicate the text layer, taking command J, and then we bring it down, take command J again, bring it down. Then we we'll hold on shift, click on the first layer, and convert to a small object, making everything one layer. Then we'll go to our filter. We click on liquify. The liquify tab is going to pop up. Then we can just drag 
this just to make like a funky effect then we just drag it just to make like some effect there Just drag it as you like. Just to make it look good. Then we are done. Click OK. Then this is our liquify effect. <laughs> Looks funny. <laughs> then you can add colors if you want you can add gradients i love using gradients i don't know why so just add gradient overlay you can change the color to however you like it and this is our liquefied text effect i hope this looks good So the next text effect is going to be the wavy text effect. I'm just going to type in emulator again. We type in dream this time around. Then it's very simple. We'll go to our filter. First we'll rasterize this text layer. Click on right click then click on rasterize. I click on rasterize type. We'll go to filter, click on distort, and click on zigzag. And we just use 10 and 5 and click OK. And there we have a text zigzag has been distorted a bit. Then we can duplicate the layer and design it the way you like. You can use this for t-shirt designs, frame designs, anything design that you want. And you can always add other things to it. You can always add gradients to it. If you like. Do the same for the second one. And do the same for the last one. And that's it. We've been able to create a very simple text effect as well. I hope this tutorial was very helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. Give this video a thumbs up and drop a comment in the comment section and let me know what you think about the video and if you have other questions as well. Thank you so much for watching and see you on my next video. Bye for now.